They are part of the newly formed Public Transport Security Command, or Transcom, which was formed to tackle security needs as the public transport system expands. These officers are required to go through an additional three weeks of training. Special skills they pick up include how to detect bomb threats in a public transport environment. What do your duties entail? My duty is to enhance the security system in a multi station, project strong police presence, to look out for suspicious person and item. In, in the event a situation arises, how will you prevent the public from panicking? We will guide them, we will show them, for example, when there's uh, any evacuation happen, we will show them the way out. We will uh, show them how to make the way out of the station. At the same time, we need to assist them evacuation. So our main, our main objective will be helping out the public at the same time to evacuate them out of the station. Okay. And also, guidelines to identifying suspicious characters or items. Could you tell us a bit more about that? Uh, we, are, we are taught in looking for some of the telltale signs for suspicious person and unsignal item. Some example I can share is uh, a person who avoid eye contact when I uh, come across a police officer patrolling and uh, try to move away distance from police officer we are approaching them. And uh, unsignal item will be something bulky, something hidden and something uh, out of normal. Uh. That means the item will be placed somewhere where people are uh, very hard to see. Okay, so what steps should Singaporeans take if they suspect someone of uh, doing something wrong? The best way for them is uh, to inform the MRT staff on the spot if they see any suspicious item. At the same time, they also can call the 999 number to inform the police. A total of 50 to 60 officers will be on patrol duty at any one time. While the Public Transport Security Command's main priority now is trains, they will be looking at the security of public buses. In the meantime, police hope that anyone who sees anything that, that raises their suspicions will contact their hotline at triple nine. <laughs>